about living in Lake Forest Park, checking out the Sheridan Heights, Sheridan Beach neighborhoods. Ooh la la, they are so nice. So I wanna take you through there today, kinda of give you an idea of what it's like. And right now I am actually at Lake Forest Park Town Center, which is, yes, the social and shopping hub of the Lake Forest Park region. So as you can see, we've got restaurants, we've got a grocery store, we've got a gym, we've got clothing stores, bird food, frozen yogurt, Subway, and Starbucks. Don't forget Mod Pizza, that's my favorite place to come to eat down here. But there's also a cool little Everest kitchen, which is a local uh, sort of mom and pop Indian food, Nepalese food uh, place. And it's all right here on Lake City Way, Bafa Way um, type of area. So um, I will show you kind of what this is like here in Lake Forest Park, and then we will check out the Sheridan Heights and Sheridan Beach neighborhoods as well. Okay, yes, my friends. Lake Forest Park Town Center. This is the Lake Forest Park Bar and Grill, kind of a brew pub, hamburger place, that type of thing. Um, I think Scott's Bar and Grill in Edmonds is better, but this is what we have here. Uh, there's the Everest Kitchen. Glacial cryotherapy. You can go for a cold dip. Volpi and Tap Room. This is new. I haven't been there yet. Edward Jones Financial and then Needle and Hooks. This is a knitting and crocheting place. They sell yarn. My daughter loves to go there. She took a little, um, little uh, knitting lessons there at one point. Trading Tigers, kind of some, what do you call it? Consignment stores. Now, Third Place Books is a big open, uh, it has a food court, it has a bookstore. You can go for book readings, you can go for coffee, you can meet your friends for lunch. They have, like I said, kind of a food court, an open community type room where it's just, it's huge. It can get really crowded on a you know rainy Saturday afternoon. People will come there and uh, hang out for hours, do beading, do knitting, talk, um, eat, just get together with folks. A lot of clubs meet here. And then um, over here, we've got a couple banks. Chase Bank, US Bank, I believe, maybe Bank of America over there. And then uh, this is the Lake Forest Park town hall so that's where you're going to go to get your passport to turn in your votes they have a big bin outside let's see yeah there it is the blue mail drop bin everybody here votes by absentee ballot by default so you don't need to stand in line for hours at the library you just drop your ballot there or you can put it in the mail uh, we've also got some bikes and scooters dental office, uh, foot and ankle clinic here. Uh, I don't really go there too much. Um, and then over on this side, we've got the Rite Aid drugstore, um, Ace Hardware. Uh, and then back in here is, you can take the escalator upstairs to go to the food court. They've got a little branch of the library. They've got a chocolate store. They have Great Harvest Bread. I believe that was going out of business during COVID. I'm not sure if it's back. There's a new juice bar and there's Planet Fitness, which is an inexpensive gym. Mud Bay, Fancy Pet Food, The Avid Angler, the Laundromat that went out of business during COVID. Um, Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza. Family favorite there, Mod Pizza, Papa Murphy's Pizza. We love our pizza. This is Albertsons, a large commercial grocery store. And then here's the Wild Birds pet food place. Mod Pizza, Starbucks, and you can see over by the Starbucks, there's a bus station. You can cross the street there. That is Lake City Way. And that's where you're gonna go to ride your bike on the Burt Gilman Trail. Uh, there's frozen yogurt back here and Subway as well. So, and then over there is the fire department. Oh, let's see if I can catch this light. So if you go down here, that's Sheridan Beach. So let's check it out. Do you see the sign? 
Sheridan Beach. Nice. Okay, so I came here for, um, we actually have a friend that lives in this area that we went to church with and she and her family invited us to come trick-or-treating in this neighborhood because it was absolutely packed on Halloween. There were like thousands of kids here. I think all the high school kids from Shorecrest must have come here. Uh, somebody had an open house that they were doing with uh, you know, haunted house. You could pay a dollar to come through that. Um, somebody was dressed up as a zombie sitting out in his front yard and like jumping up and scaring people when they came to ring the doorbell. <laughs> Um, and just all sorts of people, police cars, and that type of thing. And now, as we get over here, these houses are along the water. These are Lake Washington waterfront homes and absolutely huge and fabulous newer construction. Um, you can see how nice these are. This one looks like it's under construction here. So if there's an older home, you see the lake through the, the screen. That's Lake Washington right there. So if it's an older home, you might not necessarily have space. Oh guys, I love these houses. Or you might not desire to, you know, buy. <laughs> buy an old home in a primo location, you might have the money to knock it down and build something better. Okay, here's an older, smaller one. Another older, smaller one here. McAleer Creek, my friend's mom, when I was in elementary school, drew that picture of a salmon. They got it put on all the signs. That's just reminding us to not pollute our waterways. And you can see, I mean, even on the other side, these folks don't have water views. The homes are much more modest and regular, but still very nice, well thought of area. That one's gorgeous. a brick house it looks like two buildings this is a huge gated lot and then an older more modest home There's somebody's boat. They do have a dock and beach access here, but you can't leave your boat overnight at the beach club. However, if you have waterfront property and your own dock, you can just park your boat there like that guy. Okay, so here is the Burke Gilman Trail on the other side of these leaves. Uh, you can see through there like the stoplights for the gas station and everything. Oh, here's somebody jogging along the trail. That'll give you a sense of where it is. So it's flat, paved, very nice for biking, uh, jogging, those types of things. But as you can see, there are lots of just regular for lack of a better word, regular, not very fancy homes here in Sheridan Beach. Split level homes, single story homes, older homes. Right, I mean, you could find this anywhere in Seattle and it wouldn't seem special, but the Sheridan Beach address is definitely desirable. And of course these are backing up to Lake City Way, which is a 45 mile per hour street. 
so these are not going to be like the best of the best location-wise within the community. However, you are still getting the advantage of living in the Sheridan Beach community. The access to the trail is a definite plus. You can just cross the street to get to um, Lake Forest Park Town Center, which we visited. And you're on Bothell Way, you can head that way if you're going to uh, Bellevue and the 405 freeway, which is probably 10 or 15 minutes east. Looks like they've got some construction going on here, maybe popping the top of an older home. So there's Lake Forest Park Shopping Center and I'm just going to show you where the Civic Club is for point of reference. Now, a lot of people end up parking at the Lake Forest Park Town Center and coming down here to go on the Burt Gilman Trail. You can see there's a biker there getting ready to cross the street, uh, coming right off the Burt Gilman Trail. This is Ballinger Way. And then right over here is the Civic Club. And, uh, you can see they have a playground with a covered picnic area on the left. They have a little grassy lawn. They have a, a events facility, a banquet, banquet room, and then at the base of the lawn is a little bit of a sandy beach with a, a dock and kids go swimming out there in the summer. Just a little bit of parking here. That's pretty much all there is to it and as you can see we're at the Civic Club. Uh, members can join if they live in Lake Forest Park. It's a very widely accessible, everyone in Lake Forest Park can join. It's about $300 per year. Okay, so there's the Civic Club and then adjacent. <laughs> if you don't have a Civic Club membership, this is what you get. Lion Creek Watershed Preserve. There is apparently water access through there, uh, although it looks mostly woodsy. So if you come here to the Lions Creek Reserve, this is what you get. I'm just gonna show you around. It is mostly woodsy and it is very narrow. Obviously it's a waterfront lot. They don't wanna give away too much of that for free to the parks department. But they've got a, a couple of observation decks, a little bridge, and then we'll come out here to the dock. We can get out onto Lake Washington a little bit. It is December, no, it's January now. Happy New Year, <laughs> but um, yeah, you can kind of see what it's like on Lake Washington and uh, even in January, I guess, it's 42 degrees, we're getting a little drizzle, but um, we'll get out here and show you around. Okay, here we are at the Lions Creek Park in Lake Forest Park. And as you can see, we've got just sort of a narrow lot with a dock here. They want no swimming, no dogs, no fishing, no nothing. It's an environmentally sensitive area. Over here to the left is the Civic Club grounds. So you can see they have a nice lawn, a playground and a picnic pavilion, uh, an event center, and this sort of beach and dock. You can go out, it's roped off for swimming. Over there to the west is the, the Sheridan Beach area and waterfront properties. And then Lake Washington spans down that way. It's 22 miles south. We're at the north end of the lake. And then um, on the east side is Bellevue. And over here uh, it kind of follows Lake City Way, it goes through Kenmore, goes through Bothell and the UW Bothell campus. And over in that direction is uh, a marina by Log Boom Park where you can rent boats, moorage space if you, if you need to keep a boat of your own. Uh, motor boats and jet skis and that type of thing are allowed in this area. 
So here is a little creek, that's Lion Creek, draining out into Lake Washington. And what they've done here on the deck is to make a little observation area so you can look down into the water and see any salmon that might be traveling through there. Uh, it's not spawning season, which is more in the fall, but it's nice to know that this is here and that they're trying to conserve the space in such a way to make it nice for enjoying nature, bird watching and fish watching apparently. So heading out from Lake Forest Park Shopping Center to Seattle uh, along Bothell Way which turns into Lake City Way here and we kind of get up to the Sheridan Heights area on the right. We drove down to the left we saw Sheridan Beach over there and now we're coming into Sheridan Heights which is more up the hill so you're going to have certainly some view properties but not the same type of waterfront properties that we saw uh, when we were down on the lake so overall there aren't those uh, huge mansion type homes here the homes are a little bit more standard but the neighborhood does have nice sidewalks the homes are well kept and the landscaping here is very nice as well So unlike a lot of my videos that are in uh, different Seattle suburbs where everything looks kind of helter-skelter and uh, you know there might be the occasional neighbor with trash in the yard or other problems, this Sheridan Heights neighborhood just seems to be more consistently nice, well taken care of, and they do have a homeowners association which kind of enforces those types of rules. And now, as you can see, when we're up here at the top of the hill, when we crest it and come down this way, there's a pedestrian, but in front of him, you can see views of Lake Washington. <clears throat> and I always just show the views from the road, but oftentimes, <laughs> if you're in a house, uh, it will have been built to take advantage of the views as much as possible. down in Sheridan Beach as well, but you're not quite up on the hill in the same way, so you'd have to have a two-story house in order to really see it. And this is also a good time of year because it's winter, so we have fewer leaves on the trees. There can certainly be some trade-offs between our beautiful trees and the leaves that block the view. So different people have different <laughs> priorities when it comes to that um, and up here you can see these houses are built up on a hill these houses are built up on a hill they're two stories and you see these big walls of windows anytime you see these big window banks uh, architecturally that usually means that they are trying to capture a view and the whole house is oriented and built around the idea of looking out over the water, that beautiful Lake Washington View property that uh, is so desirable and so nice, uh, a part of this Sheridan Heights neighborhood here. But unfortunately, you know, as we go down into the lower sections, not everybody's going to get that great view. So there will still be quite a variety of prices, age and size of homes with the best looking down over there into Sheridan Beach. Across the street from Sheridan Heights on Bothell Way and you're going to be in Sheridan Beach over there. So yeah, there are going to be older homes, there are going to be smaller homes. Those are not the ones that are going to be targeted for rebuilding. 
they really want to focus if they are going to do an infill new construction lot they're going to take an old home on the best lot possible and uh, that's where they're going to spend the money to build the new house so if you don't have a view you're probably not going to have your lot torn down to rebuild just yet but you can still take advantage of the very nice neighborhood the sidewalks and everything else and as you leave Sheridan Heights you see you know what it would be like without the sidewalks here we have a bike trail along the road and uh, just a little more variety in the homes quality age and size that type of thing there's an adult care facility right there There's an adult care home, which uh, a lot of homes in, in the Shoreline area and other neighborhoods around have been converted to that. And then we're coming down the hill uh, to Brookside Elementary down here. And I have to go very slowly because they have a traffic camera and it's school time now. So uh, if they catch you speeding, you get a ticket. And they catch you with the camera, they don't even need a policeman to be here. And here's Brookside Elementary. That's where I went to kindergarten. They've remodeled it since then though. Over here is a little park that they opened. This used to be a house used to be built there. And they've sort of torn down the house, turned it into a park. There is creek access in the park. And you can see here, these little um, concrete barriers just went up. They painted them to remind people, this is Lion Creek. Salmon come through here. Salmon are spawning. And then on the back of that other park is this park, which is called Animal Acres. You're not getting a great view of it. Animal Acres has a little pea patch garden um, planting area, a lawn, and some picnic shelters. It's just kind of a grassy field. A lot of people walk their dogs here, and then there is creek access as well. My daughter and her friend like to come down here in the summer. Over here is Lake Forest Park Presbyterian Church, which is a great church in the area. Well, wow, they've got something going on over there, an activity of some kind. And uh, they, this is also a park and ride for um, people who are commuting and taking the bus. They do host a little half-day preschool here called Las Pepitas. My daughter went there actually when they just were starting. It's a half day Spanish introduction preschool. And uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if these moms and dads and kiddos are doing a little uh, activity for the preschool. And then across the street, it's almost funny to call all these things separate parks, but that is um, Eagle Scout Park. And it's tiny, that's what you see is what you get. That's the whole park. Uh, but they do have a little playground facility put in here. So they have a number of nice things you can walk around to in Lake Forest Park. You can walk from Brookside Elementary to the little playground, to the church where the preschool is. I used to actually walk my kids to school, drop them off, do a little jog back to the house. You could also walk over to the Lake Forest Park Town Center to do some shopping go walk out on the Burt Gilman Trail, go to Log Boom Park, get in the water, use your bike. So um, as we get into the rest of Lake Forest Park, it does start to get steep. We are going up hills and that type of thing, but uh, down by the water, down by Lake Washington, it is nice and they've done uh, some good things to try to make it more accessible for both walkers and bikers so the community feels more connected. 
So that's it. That's uh, my little tour of downtown Lake Forest Park. We hit the Lake Forest Park Town Center, Sheridan Beach, Sheridan Heights, the Civic Club, Lions Creek Park, Brookside Elementary, some of the other parks. So just giving you a little idea of some of the top attractions in Lake Forest Park, one of the best neighborhoods that you can live in, and hopefully giving you an idea of what it would be like to live here even in what you know it's not our best time of year it's january it's cold it's a little gray but you do get an idea of it and let me tell you when the sun comes out it is amazing so um, thanks so much for joining me i am a real estate agent so if you'd like help looking around for your perfect home whether it's in lake forest park or somewhere else i'd be more than happy to help you but in the meantime, keep watching these videos. I tour and drive around a lot of different neighborhoods and I'd love to find out what neighborhoods you're thinking about. So feel free to ask me any questions in the comments or visit me online at my website, homeproassociates.com and let me know how we can help you. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.